Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In the 8th part of this Movie Edit Pro Plus tutorial I'm going to show you how to export your video so it's ready to upload to your social media such as Facebook or YouTube. Now let's have a quick recap of what we've done so far. In the first tutorial we set the, uh, the correct film settings. In the second tutorial we showed you how to browse for content. In the third tutorial I showed you how to add that content to the timeline and then in the fourth tutorial we actually did some editing and cutting of the video content. Then in the fifth tutorial we created these transitions, these custom transitions and in the sixth tutorial I showed you how to add the audio content here. And then in the seventh tutorial we created this ticker, this title ticker and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to export the content. So let me just save my work and I'm going to click on this little arrow button up here for exporting. When I click on there it's going to give me the option to upload it to YouTube, uh, so, sorry to uh, Vimeo, but in this case I want to output the video. So I'm going to click on this output as video file and in here I've got a few different options. The file format I'm going to select as MPEG4. This is good for uploading to YouTube and I'm going to set the quality to high I want it as the highest quality. I'm going to click save video, save. And I'm going to browse to the relevant directory where I want to save the video and it's for this tutorial here and I'll always give it a new file name and I'm going to call it 01. The reason why I renamed the file is to make sure I don't overwrite the original video content, the original capture. So I always give it a 01 at the end. I'm going to click the save button and Magic's Movie Edit Pro will now start to process that video and that's going to take quite some time to complete. It may take, depending on the duration of your content and how complex it is, it can take 10-20 minutes, half an hour, an hour. It's all down to the video length and what you've actually done inside the video content itself. So here it's telling me about 35 minutes but normally that time scale will drop as and when it starts to process the video. So. I will pause this video now and wait for the video content to finish completing. Okay, so we're just coming to the end of this video export and it's about 15 seconds left. And when the video finishes doing the export, it should automatically play, so we've got to wait around 15 seconds just for this final editing to be done. It's taken around 23 minutes to complete that tutorial video and the duration is around 7 to 10, yeah, seven, about 7 minutes long. So as soon as the um, video completes it will start to play, you can hear our audio and there's the transition that we did. You should see another transition here. Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to so I'm just going to click OK. I'm just going to save the project. And let's just close, let's just minimize this for the moment. So if we look in the folder, here we can see um, all of the different files that have been generated. And this is the actual final video with the 01 at the end. So this is the video that I'll upload to Facebook or YouTube and uh, that will be that tutorial completed, this specific one. So, if you have any questions about the steps that we've been through today or in this video sequence of tutorials, then feel free to message me on my Facebook, YouTube or Twitter or Google+, wherever I would display this video and I'll try and help you out with any questions that you have. And I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.